the next fight, the Cornerman Radio. Giselle yep. Corrales versus Vasily Lomachenko, April 8th on HBO, man. Woo! This is a good fight, man. Another guy from Panama who is the um, super WBA champion. Um, Panama's best fighter right now. He beat the um, so-called number one super nah, what you know, su- super champion, Oshiyama. He's been the number one guy for so many years. Never fought in America. But Corrales beat him twice. So we knew the first time wasn't a fluke because he fought him twice and beat him in a decision. So, and he has a lot to learn. He learned, maybe he learned from Nicholas Waters the mistakes he has made, and he can watch from that because that's Nicholas Waters' friend. They both train in the same gym. They both live in Panama. Um... Uh, it's pretty interesting. I, I didn't see this fight happening, but um, I was shocked. I didn't yeah, thought, I thought this was going to um, – HBO would book this or anything like that. But we got a unification, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm happy. It's a good fight. Um, i like to see Lomachenko against the top 130 fighters, man. What you think about this fight? Well, I'll give you a little background story. Like, the guy he beat, the only reason why I know about Uchiyama, and this is back in 2010. I'm in Afghanistan. I got an Asian buddy who I'm, you know, we're boxing together. And he goes, bro, you got to check out Uchiyama, Uchiyama. So I watch him. He's powerful. Now, this guy Uchiyama, he reigned supreme for fucking six years with that WBA belt. So we got to get, and Jezreel Corrales, once I, I went, I didn't know nothing about no Jezreel Corrales, but I'm like, you know what? Me and Bar's going to talk about him. Let me watch a couple fights. He's a slick, another slick southpaw. Not like, I think he's slicker than like in Dongo, you know what I mean? They're, they're like, they're rangy, in and out type of fighters, and they're trying to drop that left, that looping left. They're nice with, they both are nice with that looping left hand. And mm-hmm. but the thing is, but the thing is with uh, Jezreel, he keeps like he keeps his hands down a little. You know what I mean? Like he's he's sticking his head out. He's like a counter. He's a real good like stick his head out, wait for you to punch. He'll bring his head. He'll make you miss, and he and he tries to crack you with that left hand. He got some power. Man, he took over Uchiyama. With, you know, Uchiyama reigned for a long time. Maybe he caught Uchiyama at the right time. But why? It's, it, to me, I like to see him versus Lomachenko. I think it's an interesting fight. I don't think he has the skills to beat Lomachenko, but I think his the way he fights is going to make it a fun fight. Like, his style-wise, I think it'll make it a fun fight. And, and it's somebody, it's a style we haven't seen versus Lomachenko, put it that way. We've seen Lomo versus, uh, you know, we've seen Lomo versus a fast guy, Gary Russell, tight defense, you know a real solid technician. Um, we've seen Lomo versus Toledo, a guy who's trying to wear you down. And then this guy is like a super slick type of uh, fighter from Panama, and he's going to be trying to be in and out on us. So it'll be interesting. It might might be a, a few headbutts in there. But, I, I mean, I can't pick him versus Lomo, but he's really deserving. I hope, I hope they make this fight. You know, I know this one isn't officially made, but I hope Bob yeah. makes it. I hope Bob Aaron makes this fight because there will be another. What did I say before, bro? Earlier in the year, I'm like, me and you were talking. I'm like, yo, this is unification city this year. For yeah, real. unification year, the year of unification. <laughs> but yeah, look out for Jisrael Corrales, man. That, I, I would like to see him. Is his name big enough for HBO to pick it up? But it's like, yo, HBO, this dude got a belt. He beat Uchiyama. Unfortunately, Uchiyama never made it. So America, but he was right. And they wasn't going to book Ushiyama and Waters for the for the top of last year, but True mm-hmm. Waters didn't um, get the decision off of Sosa, and O 
Oshiyama, Oshiyama um, was trying to get a, like a little soft touch before he fight Waters, and it ended up messing up the the whole big showdown. Uh, yeah, I'll say this though, and I don't know if you agree. I'd rather see no unification fight, but I'd rather see um, <clears throat> Jason Sosa get the Lomachenko fight. So, but I don't know if that's possible. Right what now. Sosa and who? Loma. Nah, I, don't, I think I think Sosa needs to fight. Couple more people, man, build it up. I I wouldn't mind watching it, but I just feel like, uh, it's it's guys he needs to beat because, um, Haver Fontuna was a, a a one step. You know what I mean? I feel like we're not seeing no big like I want to see somebody worth worth fighting Vasily. That's basically what I'm saying. Like, we can all want, because, you know what I mean? We build up, everybody was hyped up for the Waters and Vasily, and it ended up becoming a fluke. You know what I'm saying? Um, what this and place, because right? they, they weren't fighting the best competition. None of, you know what I'm saying? So now, I would like Sosa get fight Geronti <laughs> Davis, a Salido. Or you know what I'm uh, saying, get those these. fights in, uh, and then just, and then we can possibly it. set up a big showdown with Vasily. You know what I'm saying? I think Vasily. But I, I see I Vasily think. winning this fight. Uh, uh, after he beat my favorite fighter Nicholas Waters, I uh, just I'm never going to doubt him ever again. Okay. Unless he moves up in a bigger weight class and. But at the end of the day, I, I'm not doubting Vasily ever again. 